That was super weird. The picture froze and then the video just cut out. That was super weird. But yeah, we so we're on rule number three. I love it. Oh yeah, no, that was three. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm ignoring you. I apologize. It's hard to be ignored as a baby. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we want to be cooler than whatever the distraction is. Uh, that generally just starts with when I say it, come, I'm going to sound enjoyable to, to be around. This also could mean if you're having a hard time, I'm going to make it easy for you. I don't use this all the time. This is not a crutch in order to do the behavior, but if, it, if I need to help you out, I'm gonna help you out. That's what training is. It's helping you to learn. So if I need to help you out, I'm going to. That might mean when I'm setting up a training session, uh, maybe the distraction is really high. I might give a, uh, oh, that I, I was, was pretty cool to be around there in, in that moment. Good boy, you can have a cookie for that. You're being such a good boy. Um, so that's something we can help them out with. Again, this is during training. It's like, think about it like school in, in preschool. If a kid didn't know colors, you wouldn't just sit there and say, no, this is it, this is it. You would break it down and say, what's a, what's a way that I could figure out that could make this easier for you to understand? That's what we're doing. We're not saying that this is how it's going to be forever and you're always going to need this in order to come to me. That's not it. It's saying, I'm gonna help you out when I train to make it easier for you to understand and make that decision. So we can use those, I call them novel noises. This is novel, it might not be something you do all the time. It doesn't have to be that, it can be whistling. Oh, it be a lot. He's like, I like that. Uh, it could be whistling, it could be making, it doesn't matter what it is. The idea is it's novel. It's something you don't do or a noise you wouldn't make all the time when it is difficult in training. I wanna, I wanna say that, in training, not in the concert or not in real life. This happens in training to help them out. Um, last rule, uh, rule number four is we do not want to recall to always mean the ending of a good time. And if you think about it, that's kind of what it is. Uh, when we call our dogs, it's like, come like from, let's say they're in the backyard, come inside. Okay, well, now I can no longer play. Uh, so I know when my mom calls me, I can't play anymore. I don't like dog parks, so bear with me as I give this example. But going to the dog park, um, okay, come, and we're you know getting in the car. That's a signal of, if I listen to that, that means the playtime with my friends end. A lot of times we use that as an ending of a good time. Actually, 99% of the time, a recall is the ending of a good time in their eyes. So a lot of times they will try to just avoid it. Like if I didn't hear it, it didn't happen. And we don't want them, go boy, you're being such a good boy as I'm talking your mom's ear off over here. We don't want it to always mean the ending of a good time. And now I, I'm gonna explain it like this. Uh, you would still use it, obviously. If I want my dog to come to me, I'm still going to use that recall, but I would use it like this instead. Say I'm at the dog park, and I know I have to leave in 10 minutes. I'm gonna do five recalls within those 10 minutes. One every two minutes, is that math? I think that math is right. Uh, but I would do one every two minutes. It would be recall one, come in, check with me, awesome, go play. Recall two, come, check with me, okay, go play. Recall three, come check with me, go play. Recall four, come check with me, go play. Recall five, come check with me. Okay, now we're leaving. How many of those signaled the ending of a good time? Only one, only one. So we have two, four, six, 80% of that interaction didn't signify the ending of a good time at all. It just was come check in with me. Then you can continue to go do whatever it is you were doing. Again, that's practice. That wouldn't be a real life scenario. Say a real life is the deer. Obviously, I'm not gonna call you back and tell you you can go chase the deer again. There are situations where it is gonna be the ending of a good time, but when you are practicing, that's, that's the difference. When you are practicing, you wanna make sure he knows that that is not what that means. It is not the ending of a good time. I can continue to go do what I do because then he's going to be less hesitant to, um, come to you if he goes okay the odds of my mom ending my fun of chasing this deer pretty low he's gonna go and say ah darn it and then you go do practices the next day where you prove to him no it can mean you have you can go and back and have fun but not all the time so it's really important that the majority of the time is not always signaling the ending of a fun time that's the the key part there so those are the four rules i'm gonna go over it really quickly again and then we're gonna go over the practicing of it Rule number one, you start it, you finish it. I don't care if it takes two seconds, he responds immediately. I don't care if it takes 20 minutes. If I start it, I'm ending it, I want them to know I'm good on my word, I'm going to continue uh, through it. 
Uh, rule number two is where we're going to mark that behavior. Remember, we want to mark, say, good boy on the decision. The decision to focus on me versus whatever the distraction is. Not necessarily the walking over to me. That's not the hard part. I know he can physically walk. Uh, it's him deciding to leave that distraction, whatever it might be. Deer, that's our, our like ultimega up on top here. It's probably going to be boring, boring things. Um, rule number three, being cooler then. I want him to know I'm always a fun person to be around. You do always want to be around me. Um, so that starts with how I'm going to communicate uh, come with him. Uh, but it can mean, again, a lot of different things. It might be helping him out in training with novel noises. It's just being cooler than whatever that distraction is. Uh, sometimes people think that's the hardest rule. I think it's the easiest rule because I'm a little bit on the crazy side. I'm a little bit obnoxious anyway. It comes natural to me. So making novel noises and, and being cooler than and loud and crazy, that comes easy to me. Um, last rule, remember, we don't want it to be the ending of a good time, always. I don't want him to assume that that's what this behavior is because that's where we're going to get the ignoring of, of us and we don't want, obviously, that to happen. So those are the four rules. We are going to work on those, we're going to work on those rules um, as, as we go, oh, is that what trying to happen? I think the maintenance people are, oh, they're trying to call me because they're trying to fix the daycare floor, or daycare floor, uh, the air conditioning is a little wonky. He just walked by, he's like, call me. Um, which is probably why our video cut out then. Um, but okay, sorry, ADD, I got hit, my mind focused here. Oh, now we're gonna set up our training sessions. This is something you should be doing at home again multiple times a day. I think about it like a human training or a human, dude, I think you let yourself out of the room. Holy shart, I just had a heart attack. That'd be, I mean, you could have, to be quite honest. Am I that, am I that boring to you? I mean, at least give you cookies. Good job, good job. But think about it, like if I were to give you a violin and the next day expect you to play in a concert, that's kind of crazy. I know that from a human perspective, that's kind of crazy to have those expectations. We do that with our dogs though. We don't ever practice with them. We don't set aside the time uh, to, to practice. Dude, you're not dying in here, I promise. Come here. Good. Good job. Awesome. Uh, we don't set aside that time to practice, but yes, we have the expectations of them to do exactly as we expect. Um, and think about practice, a violin. It's the exact same concept. Uh, you would have to practice for a half hour to an hour a day to, to start seeing quick results. Same with our dogs. I don't, practice should never be in bulk amounts of time. Dogs' attention spans, as you can see, especially at this age, are very low. I practice for, with dogs at this age for about two minutes at a time, take a break, and I always come back. I try to do as many two minute sessions with uh, puppies as I can throughout the day. Um, and two minutes, think about that. Yeah, that's in between doing something, putting laundry away. Two minutes, I can devote to you. A, a commercial break, two minutes practicing recalls. But if we do not set, a time, set aside time to practice these four steps specifically, I cannot expect him to have that good recall that, that we want. Um, so here, now we know our rules. I want this one, I want you to focus, obviously start, finish. I'm not gonna be worrying about that rule because that's what I'm doing throughout this entire practice. So I'm skipping that one. Um, I, I want you to focus on the next one that I do on the marking, where I mark it, how I mark it. So focus on this one, on that one. Oh, I just tripped. Ow. Watch me break my ankle on, on camera. Here, our instruction is a, a toy, taking it, tossing it in the corner. Come. Yes, good. You notice as soon as that head turns. Good job. I give you cookie uh, here. Really important, especially when you're training, you're building a high reward history. I want him to know, good job. I'm paying him for every single one he does. If I like it, I'm paying for it. Yes. I like your work, I don't pay your work. Dude, that was the tiniest, same thing. Dude. Come. Yes, good. There I had to revoke, rule, revoke, invoke. I don't know, use. I'm trying to use big words, what the heck? I'm trying to use big words there, uh, but there I used my novel noise. He was having a difficult time, and I could have sat there and waited to see how long he would. Uh, 
recall for. That's not what this is about. This is, again, teaching him, I want you to pay attention to me. I gave the kissy. He immediately turned, and I said, I like that. I like when you look at me. Good job. We're going to do that same distraction again. Now he's like, I'm not going for that. Yes, good. Good choices, my dude. Good choice. Come. Yes, good. Nice job. Wait, you missed it. It's, yep, yep, yep. Okay, we'll work, we'll work on that. We'll practice that later. Let's add to our collection of distraction pile. Distraction pile. Come. Yes, good. Nice job. Good job, very nice. When you practice, the idea is not to practice and fail over and over, that's not practicing. Practicing is you have to do the right thing over and over. So I'm gonna help you do the right thing over and over. Now oh, here, I wanna use the distraction of the, the wall here or seeing people walking by. Come, yes, good, good job. You notice he was still sitting, he wasn't coming to me, but I marked it because he paid attention to me immediately off of the distraction, which was the the door. Good boy. Oh my gosh, you're doing so good. Oh, look at this toy though. This toy looks super fun. Super fun. Super fun. Super fun. Ah, distraction pile. Ah, distraction pile. Yes, go check it out. It looks so cool. Oh my goodness. This pile is getting so big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Come. Yes, good. Good job, my dude. I gotta get these ones. I know those ones are small. He's like, come on. Also, I guess I should show you my treat size. Come on, show your mama. You notice I give a lot of treats. This is also my treat size, right here. Doo -doo -doo. That's the size of treat I use. Uh, and you can tell, he's like, okay, I like it, cool. Uh, because I do give a lot of treats. I want a reward every time. Come. Yes, good choices. Nice job. So there, it's not about the size. Because sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to give my dog that many treats. Um, I think about it, calories. How many calories am I giving my dog? So it's still rewarding. I'm rewarding everything I like to build a really good reward history and a good solid response. Oh, here. Don't mind us. Go smell what you were smelling. Ah, it smells really good. This is where we keep all the toys and all the treats. So obviously there's smells and 